birds are uh, endothermic animals that is they make their body warm with the help of their metabolic heat production birds have a specific mode of life that is aerial mode of life for some part of their life they live in air that is they fly in air and then they go back to the maybe land or maybe upon the trees where they make their nests birds also have a four chambered heart their heart is comparatively larger and its four chambers are actually fully divided because to continue their flight action that is they have to fly and for flying they need a lot much of energy and for flying they need lot much of oxygen so their heart is fully divided into four chambers um and its size is larger to um compensate the needs of the oxygen supply and nutrient supply of the uh, birds birds also have a specific characteristic because they have to fly and weight is very important to reduce weight they have very uh, lightweight bones which are hollow we call them hollow bones their very lightweight bones actually help them to reduce weight um for flight they respire through a very specific system which includes lungs and associated structures called air sacs birds have uh, their lungs uh which could be of course expanded which are expanded to a to a greater extent and also they have specific structures associated with their lungs called air sacs when they get air in inhale air um it is filled into the air sacs as well and there is those air sacs also help in its respiration so its um, respiration system is highly efficient with the help of lungs and with the help of air sacs we know we have uh, parrots pigeons peacocks falcons kingfishers birds could be herbivores birds could be carnivores they are consumers and they are present of different levels of consumers there are grain eater birds we know the sparrows they usually eat the grains there are some birds which eats meat like a kingfisher which eat upon the fishes so they makes very important part of the food chain in the food webs if for example there are certain birds which eats eat upon the dragon flies we know that if uh, uh, if those birds they are not present in the environment then those dragon flies may increase so much that they may eat our lot many crops so um they are very important parts of the food chains and food webs of most of the ecosystems birds have another characteristic that they lay fewer eggs and they provide parental care to their young ones we know that the birds usually make nests um and in the nests they lay like their eggs and then they take care of their eggs and when their young ones are born they feed them and uh, they grow them up for a specific uh, period of time uh, till they are self dependent um so uh, birds they are uh, very important uh, animals of the um, animal kingdom and of the very important part of the biosphere have a look on different types of birds they also add uh, to the beauty of the nature we have very beautiful birds like you can see peacock you can see different other types of birds here in this picture now the mammals the group which is classified uh, on the top of the vertebrates the highly complex organisms mammals which have hair upon the on their body and which feed their uh, young ones with milk mammals also have a four chambered heart which is also a double circuit heart and that is it um, receives blood from the body which is deoxygenated and it sends blood to the uh, lungs to oxygenate it they have um, their respiratory system consist of uh, lungs they respire through lungs um and they are very very efficient lungs and the the heart system we can say the cardio respiratory system they have highly developed brains in comparison to all the previous groups they have a different property that their brain is highly developed and this highly developed brain actually um provides the social interaction between these organisms that is they are socially involved and they make uh, groups or a sort of families in which they provide each other uh, protection support and uh, shelter and sometimes help each other in feeding as well the animals they have a thick skin in comparison to all other organisms and this thick skin actually help them to protect themselves their bodies from the harsher environment the mammals they are also heterotrophs they are from herbivores to omnivores there is a wide diversity of mammals present uh, on the planet earth there are lot many mammals like the goats 
um, like the buffaloes, like the cows, which are herbivores. And there are a lot many different mammals like lions, uh, uh, the wolves, which are carnivores. There are different types of mammals which are omnivores like bears, um, white bears, the black bears. So there's a wide diversity of mammals. These are very useful for us as human beings. So we culture them in our farmhouses. We culture the buffaloes, we culture the cows, we culture the uh, goats. We use them for uh, the purpose of getting uh, meat, which is a good source of proteins. And we use them for getting milk. And uh, we apply different types of breeding techniques to improve their uh, different characteristics. So, uh, and also there are different types of mammals which are very, very important parts of the food chains. Like there are certain uh, arctic foxes, there are arctic bears, um, which lives in specific environment and which are very, very important for the stability of those ecosystems. So, um, this was about the vertebrate animals. Uh, vertebrate animals from fishes to the mammals, um, they have very, very specific characteristics and they are highly adapted for their specific environments. And in many ways, they are uh, very useful for us. In any, many ways, they are sometimes harmful for us. Uh, but, uh, we, but these are always, whether they are harmful, whether they are useful, they are important for us. Um, because uh, if they are harmful, we have to handle with them. We have to evolve strategies to uh, deal with them. And if they are useful, uh, we can use them for um, uh, getting different types of um, important products for us. So today's lecture was uh, about different types of animals, um, their distinguishing features, their different characteristics, their um, economic importance, their, um, benefic their, their, their benefits and uh, their harms. Um, and about their importance for the biosphere.